Good afternoon, I'm Alicia Freeze. And I'm Fabio Jr. Welcome to this week's edition of Random Recreation News. We bring you this story about a kitty. Really? A kitty? That's right, Alicia. This cute little kitten turns the big one today. That's right. And to celebrate, it took a walk with its owner for some leisure time. Now, we can't show you the footage of this kitten for its own safety reasons, but I drew a picture of myself of this kitten just to show you how cute it really is. In other news, oh, hold on, I'm getting something. Yes, okay. Well, folks, I don't know how to tell you this, but we, have now, we now have actual evidence that recreation and leisure is not a joke. We are being told that there are four benefits to recreation and leisure. Wait, that makes it five. They just added a fifth. Wow, this is truly groundbreaking stuff. Sure is, Fabio. We are being told that the five benefits are personal, economic, environmental, social, and political. Well, I think I'm going to make an executive decision here and say we are going to start with part one of a five-part series, all about benefits of recreation and leisure services. We have our media reporter, Betty Lou, ready with the groundbreaking research. Over to you, Betty Lou. Thanks, Alicia. The I'm environment open. is electric right here. now. People are so excited about this news that they are literally running in the streets and doing whatever they can oh. actively participating in recreation and leisure. It's so crazy out here. I can barely hear myself talk. Wowzers, it sure does look crazy out there. I hope you're doing okay, Betty Lou. Oh, I'm just fine, Fabio. Anyhow, the Recreation Federation of Ontario just came out with what they're calling the National Benefits Catalog. They are listing so many different benefits, but I'm just gonna talk to you today about the personal benefits. So get your notepad out. I can hardly wait, Betty Lou. Research that was done in the USA shows that walking improves your mental creativity. Test subjects were asked to complete Guildford's alternate uses test and a compound remote associates test. They had some subjects sit and others walked. They found that the subjects who walked showed an increase of up to 81% in the CAO test and 23% on the CRA test. Thank you so much for that informative report, Fanny Lou. We are now bringing it over to Aliandro. Alrighty then, so some Americans have done a study and they found that it only takes 20 minutes of physical activity and it will help those with attention hyper deficit disorder. It will help them focus, read, do arithmetic and other such things. I found this so interesting I had to give it a go. Now look at me, look how fast I can read this book. Done. E equals MC squared. This is amazing. We can really see the personal health benefits along with some human development in all these findings. I personally struggle with squirrel. Well, while we wait for Fabio to bring it back in, why don't we send it over to Haleandro and Betty Lou who have somehow found each other in the mayhem. Thank you again, Alicia. This is going to be our final stop here today and we're talking about sports and young adults. Researchers in the USA have crunched some numbers and found that young adults who participate in sport are more likely to have self-rated mental health, exhibit lower perceived stress, and less likely to have symptoms of depression. That is incredible. I always found for myself sport was a great relief of stress. Rugby was a great one, for example. I always loved just getting that big tackle. It really helped. There he is! Go! Well, thank you so much, guys, for your effort out in the field. We can see that there are so many personal and human developmental benefits. I can't imagine why anyone would not want to be involved in recreation. Something as simple as going for a walk improves your creative side. Being active makes you better reading, better at reading, and math. Also, simply playing sports helps improve your self-esteem and relieve stress. Look at this, Alicia. They even have a website. They have all the research that has, has to be done for all the benefits. The website is www.benefitshub.ca, so be sure to check it out, guys. That's all from us here today. I'm Alicia Fries, and thank you for stopping by. And I'm Fabio Jr. Stay classy, everyone.